This was a day for doing a little time traveling at a Blackfoot high school. Local News aides Cole Sam shows us what students found as they dug up a buried time capsule. There's nothing up there, guys. It's empty. Students at Independence High School kept digging and digging and digging to find a time capsule buried on their school grounds back in 1998. At first, I, uh, I thought the time capsule was going to be closer to the top of the ground. I didn't think we were going to be digging for 30 minutes, and that stuff's all wet. It's almost like clay material. It was, it was a minute to dig up, but as soon as we got there, we found it. Inside were a newspaper, a VHS tape, and many documents and posters that helped signify the times. It was all a blast from the past for former student Tally Hokinson. She helped put together the time capsule over 20 years ago. Things are a lot different now than they were back then. Back in the day when I was in high school, you used to have a bag phone in your car if you needed to make phone calls or for emergencies. Um, now we've got the real fancy cell phones and stuff like that that we didn't have back then. And while visiting her alma mater, Hokinson remarked that independence has a profound impact on her life. It did change my life because the teachers have a lot of compassion for the students and it really helps you build your self-confidence and there's no limit to where you can go. Assistant Principal Daniel Grimes has also been at the school since the time capsule has been underground and has seen the school have a similar impact on other students like it did for Hokinson. A lot of the kids, I think they developed that, uh, you know, that feeling of home, being here at this school, and a feeling of family. And so even, you know, 20, 23 years later, they still have that feeling. The school is planning on doing another time capsule before the school year ends and are planning to highlight the current era while also paying homage to Independence High School. Something that kind of reflects the students that are here now. Um, you know, I think you saw a lot of personal stuff in there, a lot of people's posters, pictures of themselves at prom. And, uh, you know, I think that that's what time capsules at schools should reflect, is the, the students that are there at the time that they do it. Reporting in Blackfoot. Independence strong. I'm Cole Sams. Ooh.